Hey everybody, um, today we're going to basically be using the Express Framework and showing you how to set that up. So, in Terminal or Command Prompt, you're going to want to type npm install tag g express. Now, if you're on Mac or Linux, you want to put sudo in front of it, which would look like this. sudo npm install tag g express. So, remember that and hit enter and what it'll do is it'll make the global command for express and it'll say a bunch of stuff that you don't really need to worry about as long as everything's green and all these colors you're good to go um, so yeah now I'm in my main node.js directory so let's create a new uh, a new uh, framework so we'll type express and the name of the directory hello and it tells you basically what to do it made all these files um, for you in folders and wants you to cd into hello and then do npm install which will automatically find all the needed dependencies and install that so it's just npm install and it'll do it all for you um, and then all we gotta do is do node app and now we have an Express server listening on port 3000 before we even looked at any code. So let's Chrome and do localhost 3000. And there we go. And it even tells us how fast we got it, which is in uh, 20 milliseconds, it seems. So it's pretty good. Um, it lets us know when we have connections and all that kind of stuff or when it receives a request I should say and yeah there we go it's has margins um, and this is actually without any HTML so you probably it's doing it for you through a a uh, temp template engine called Jade and what Jade does is oh let me pull it out real quick uh, open folder node hello open let me just close out this other one okay so there we go this is basically everything it created all these files in the hello directory so if we go to view we have a layout.jade and an index.jade now this isn't really javascript so let me just kind of show you what it looks like and as you see it's basically it looks like HTML but it's, it doesn't have all the other stuff I mean it basically it's easier HTML so you can really fast like you know quickly code um, layouts and all kinds of stuff like that without any PHP or stuff like that and you see it sends the layout so it's basically taking this putting in the index and filling it with content so let's not worry about that too much um, I want to worry about more about the JavaScript for now, and there's a lot of it. So it sets up three variables: Express, Routes, which was requiring the dot slash routes right here, and HTTP module. And we have ver app equals an Express object. So basically, we're doing app dot configure, give it a function, and we give it all this stuff right here so let's kind of go into this a little bit just enough so you get a brief understanding because I don't understand it fully um, I kind of just figured oh well it works I know how to work it that's all you need to know kind of thing so we're setting views as the directory name and of slash views so this right here is basically our views directory and set it, we're setting uh, the express objects uh, view engine to jade so it understands that these jade files are what they read so um, using the fav icon um, use logger uh, the dev so we're in development log state so basically if we get any errors you'll see it as if you were a developer so you'll see like all the things wrong with it and 
when you want to go into production, you're going to change this to production. Um, mainly so your users don't get weird, uh, what would it be? Uh, weird error messages telling them what's wrong with the code. Because uh, I don't think we would really want that, and I'm sure they don't want that. Um, app use static, um, stress that static, I mean, uh, directory name of the public. Uh, it's just using this public uh, directory. App use express body parser. Uh, so it's using express's body parser. Method override and app use app router. So it's using you know the express's object because that's basically every time you see app, it's basically an express object. Um, so we're using app dot router and that's just part of uh, express. And now we're going to do app dot configure development. So we're we're stating that it's in development mode right here and passing this function app.use express error handler so it will make it easier to understand the the code when it outputs it to us if there's an error and then what it's doing is when we run this it's doing app.get uh, forward slash which is also routes.index as you see routes index oh sorry I didn't mean to really click there but uh route dot index and then http dot create server with the app all the stuff we were doing up here and dot listen on port three thousand and then we console log that we're listening on port three thousand so we we I know you guys know this um right here it's just creating an http server with our app variable and making it listen on port 3000. Um, so it's basically it's it's getting this and when it gets this right here it's really going over to this routes slash uh, index.js file which it gets the home page it even tells you right here it's basically just getting the the res for the home page it's rendering out the home page um, so it's gonna do exports uh, dot index so function require and res uh, and basically res dot render index and we're passing it the title express so if you remember from back when we looked at the thing you're probably like wait I think I saw express on the page well you did um, so basically that's what's there um, this is that because when we go into our, our jade file you'll kind of see what that means and I'll do that next time but yeah it's just passing it a variable a parameter so it, when we actually I'll just go over it now when we get to the layout.jade file title equals title um, all this other stuff and this is where it matters head one equals to title and in paragraph welcome to title so because this is the one rendering out that index file and the reason it knows where that it's in the views is because of this app.get or no wait that's not it app.set views direct name and the app.get knows to look into the views and when you do slash it's just default index basically so title anywhere you see title now it's basically a variable in jade and it's set to express as we saw in this so that's it for this time I know it's probably a very confusing actually I didn't understand it at all when I first started going at it but we'll go over some jade stuff because it'll be a little simpler and it'll give you a chance to understand what this is really doing. So see you guys next time.